second half now at Kansas State at home with a big crowd there at Bill Snyder Family Stadium. Cats with the ball first in the third quarter. Gary, as they do, they take a lot of time off the clock deliberately running that football. But I thought the story of the game was your defense against the run, top 20 nationally coming in, and you did a terrific job, in my opinion, against Daniel Thomas, the Big 12's leading rusher. Really did. I'm really proud of our football team. It's going to be a real physical game. Uh, we're out of place there on that third down play, but we do stall the drive, and again, they get a field goal, and, and uh, you know they're going to move the ball. They used a lot of clock. That's what they want to do, and but uh, we're playing good defense overall. 17-9, K-State does get its third field goal. Then the offense for Mizzou is three and out. K-State gets the ball back, and that's the one big run of the day for Thomas, 22 yards. 22 yards, and he got outside a little bit, but he didn't turn into a big, big play. He had a missed tackle there. The gas car comes over and, and um, solidifies it there a little bit. And they're, they're working their way down again. Uh, they did a, try to do a shovel pass right here and, uh, to Thomas and uh, Spoon and Ebner and those guys to smoke that out. And, and again, forced another field goal. And I was hoping that that guy kicked this one field goal, at least one or two. He's a good kicker, but he's, he's missed a few. But he, he made them all yesterday. Yeah, Josh Cherry. So we go out, four. this is the fourth play of the, of the drive, and we hit Denario in the middle. And a missed tackle was costly by them. And then you know Denario, you get Denario like this, he's a different level of speed guy. He's carrying the ball wrong, so he's going to get a critical error for that. But, uh, we'll, but uh, we just don't want to get knocked out like what right. happened before we saw it happen to, to them. And so, but we're really a big, big play. And, and you can see also Blaine's back there with a lot of time to throw. And that's the offensive line. I think that's just a, just a, just a big play. And what, what a guy that can. You know, take it. He's like J Mac. You know, just take it. Any 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 ball caught and turn into a huge football play. Yeah, they don't catch him. He, he turned a couple of the Wildcats inside out. It looked like they had the angle, but not not so much with that great breakaway speed for the long lanky receiver Alexander. Huge touchdown, obviously, folks. It's 24-12, and then a fumble forced by Jacquees Smith. Will Ebner picks it up for Missouri. Yeah, it's a fundamental of knocking the ball out, just like Z did earlier down that goal line. Jacquees pulls the ball out as he's going down and. And we respond to it, you know. I, I think that's what was really important. You know, this was a third and seven, a real critical third down play. We got eight yards out of it, and you know, we're getting Derek Washington with the football, and we're blocking well, and we got some momentum going. You know, turnovers not only get you field position, but those turnovers uh, it, it really, uh, really create a lot of energy. Jarrell Jackson, flash pass for Jarrell right there. And you've talked about him a little bit. He, this guy is like a fourth receiver, but he's almost like a fourth starter. I know you like him a lot, don't you, his potential? Yeah, you know, he's a little bit of an underachiever. I kid him around after the game. I said, <laughs> you did great, but you'd be a lot better. And he always looks at me like I'm nuts. But, uh, you know, just a real nice play by Derek. Real good block by our offensive line. And uh, just a great way to answer that turnover. You get that turnover, and you can get at some points. You know, if we got three out of it, then fine. We go down there and get a touchdown. That just puts a remarkable amount of hip, uh, pressure on him. And um, here's Alden Smith again, the defensive line, doing a lot of good things and getting another sack. Well, his 10th of the season, Alden now one shy of the single season record of 11 by Justin Smith. And again, you did such a nice job against the run, uh, really down and down out for the most part. You force K-State to throw, force so many third and longs. It's just not what they or, of course, any football team wants to be faced with. But it made a difference, Gary. And look at it, Jarrell Harrison with the pick. Well, we told our team if we could get a lead, don't turn the ball over, then they're going to be forced to do what they yes. don't like to do. And that's what happened. And that's what happened. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was nice to see that. And uh, another look at Harrison, the safety coming up and intercepting the Grant Gregory pass. Nice little run back. And along with that is just uh, great field position. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, you know, but the, the war of turnovers, what that can do. And as we know, Kansas State was number one uh, going into it, too. Uh, this is, uh, you know, putting D. Wash at uh, quarterback. He does have a good arm. He hasn't thrown the ball yet, but uh, certainly, uh, really nice uh, offense putting that. Really nice block. And look at the blocking we got here. This is he. He gets one. He's get touched by one guy all the way in, and that's. Uh, we're real proud of our team for taking advantage of, of these turnovers. I'll be interested to hear the grades from your offensive line for your offensive line. I would guess they'd be pretty lofty after this game. It sure seemed that way. And uh, D. Wash just carrying the. Football defensively swarming around uh, Kansas State there as they try the little screen pass. Spoon with nine more tackles. He's now third all time on the career Tiger tackling list. Yeah, we got a lot of guys. That, you know, this is uh, he had the ball a long time. This, there's a story here about staying in, in your position on the field, and uh, so we can learn it from a. Uh, that's just being out of position. 
Uh, so we'll learn a lesson there. But what, what I really was pleased with is our defense, who really took it serious. We do not want anybody to score. And they had four shots at it, and they didn't get in. And I, that, that, I think that tells us, uh, Dominique Hamilton, that tells a lot about our defense. And that's just your guts and your heart, and you know, the game's over, but you, know, you, you want to preserve the, you know, the shutout in terms of touchdowns. Yeah, Hamilton, uh, young guy out of El Paso, Texas, number 90, you see there in the middle of the picture from uh, that defensive tackle spot has really made some uh, strides and uh, hugs on the sideline, high fives on the way out. Good contingent of Tiger fans there. See Blaine Gabbard in Missouri roll to a most impressive 38-12 to win. So, Coach, that's more like it. Yeah, that's uh, that's better. Uh, you know, we we still got to keep the screws in, and, and it's all about our football team focusing. And uh, um, you know, it's going to be a tough week this week. And you know, you know, Iowa State's a good team, and this week's about a lot of stuff. You know, seniors, our fans in the in the zoo. We haven't done real well here the last couple games. This week's Missouri Employers Mutual Player of the Week is, can you guess, can you guess? Senior receiver Denario Alexander, 10 catches, 200 yards, three touchdowns, including an 80-yard TD pass in the third quarter. Denario became the first Tiger to have back-to-back 200-yard -back receiving games in school history. MEM, -E the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance.